Hello guys, OnePlus has just released their latest Oxygen OS beta version that is OnePlus 7 Pro O2 beta 1 so this is the beta version not a DP version that is developer preview as Android has, Android Q has just been released by the Google the same thing has been released by OnePlus 7 so this is running very latest Android version but on beta version not a stable version it's a beta version but it's far more smooth and better than the DP version that is developer preview so let's dive into it basically you can see that icons have been changed some of the icons have been changed you can see Wi-Fi Bluetooth display icons all have been changed in Wi-Fi section and Bluetooth section nothing has been changed in display section you can see the display has the same color calibration and all slightly I, I can see that emerald white gamut has slightly more tint to it so this looks better right now other than this nothing has been changed you can see that ambient display has not been yet added it's just like for the new notification and horizon light has been shifted here so nothing more you have the same one always on is still missing from this going forward you also have font size display size you can see that the icons has been changed change here nothing much in customization you can see the name of the themes which were previously written has been changed so you have that old colorful theme which keeps this all you have illuminating light theme this is basically a light theme everything is white and you have nuanced dark theme this theme still has a bug that is the notification panel is a dark black and you can see that quick setting panel is grey color so this doesn't match I don't know I have already reported it many times and in previous DP also this was a problem but it has still not been solved by oneplus I don't know they have forgot completely they have completely forgotten this or they are trying to do and it has not been done by them let's see if it changes into the next build so we'll be keeping this light theme for sake you also have the tones and all nothing has been changed here same everything is this everything is same here so in customization also nothing has been changed in sound and vibration also nothing is been but in gestures if you have missed my previous build you can see that you have normal navigation you have back home and recent buttons which can also be changed other than this you have navigation gestures left and right which is more suitable in app and notification you can see basically everything is same nothing has been changed in security and lock screen also nothing has been changed in privacy it's the same thing location also have the same thing in battery section you have some icon changes but uh, nothing more than that Accounts also have the same thing. Digital well-being was already added. In utilities, you have quick launch, which was already there. Parallel apps were already there. App locker was already there. In OnePlus laboratory, we still have the DC dimming. I don't know if people use it or not. Quick reply in landscape is also working. You can see all these apps has been already added. Basically, this was all the DP3 uh, DP5 versions changes plus this naming which has been changed this customization name has been changed everything else is same as dp5 so few of the naming has been changed nothing else has been done in this version but yeah they have given you the beta version it's better and fluid also uh, to quick recap the magic magic calls also working few of the modules which have been installed are already working the people who are thinking and who already have TWRP can directly flash this via TWRP yeah I was on DP5 I have just installed the version which was available I have downloaded it that uh, zip file I have installed it via TWRP then I have installed Magisk and then I have again installed the TWRP 
so that uh, the TWRP remains in case if you are new to this you should know that uh, when you flash any of the oxygen OS build it replaces to the stock recovery so please don't forget to flash your recovery again otherwise you will lose the recovery and in case if you don't know you can also update it from here you can download that package go to system go to system updates select this wheel panel and select local upgrade if you have downloaded it to the phone just keep it into the root of the storage and select this from here and uh, just hit reboot after the, your installation has been complete and uh, you will have this the latest version of this so yeah that's it guys nothing has been changed from db5 you have all that basic things nothing more some name has been changed other than that nothing has been changed okay bye